Tommy, look at you, a new tool for us, huh? A new tool for up here, a lathe. Although I've never really thought of you as a lathe guy. Uh, I don't consider myself a lathe guy by any means. So you get a, a piece glued to another piece, and then you get a spline between the pieces? Right, and that spline is made out of hard pine. It's just an accent piece, that's all it is. So not a lathe guy, huh? I still don't consider myself a lathe guy. You see some of these people out there that turners. I mean, they're amazing what they do. And I just play on the lathe a little bit, and turn a bowl or a pen or a box or whatever. Just something that I feel like doing. Two in the morning, when I can't sleep, I get up and I turn. It relaxes me. It gets stuff off my mind. I can think. And I can focus on what I'm doing, too. So sometimes if I've got something I don't want to think about, I go down and focus on this little thing turning around. It's my zen, yeah. yeah. <laughs> my wife, Susan, says every now and then, you really like doing this, don't you? Uh, yeah. Keeps me out of trouble. My dad had an old craftsman lathe, and I used to play with that when I was young. My brother Dickie also turned a little bit, so, you know, I wanted to be like Dickie. If he could turn a lamp, I could make a lamp, so made a lamp. And then uh, every now and then, if my dad had a project or we were doing something, and I had to turn something silly, uh, maybe a, a, a column base molding little detail. Uh, it would take me a while to do it, but I didn't really do a lot of turning. And then I didn't really start to get into it till a couple of years ago, uh, when I started having more time at night. You're basically working around the clock when you own a company. There is no six, seven hour day. It's, it's 20, 20 hours a day is really what you work in six, seven days a week. But now I don't have that part of my life that I have to be concerned about, so now, I still, I'm up, and why not turn a bowl? <laughs> I've gotten into all kinds of silly things. I'm turning some burls. I made a cookie jar for one of our homeowners out of an old bean. Thank yeah. you so much. Baby rattle, yeah, I made a couple of those, a few of those. Baseball bats. I made a cabriolet leg just to, because I wanted to try it. Christmas ornaments, they started out, they didn't start out as Christmas ornaments. Basically, I would just pick up scrap pieces of wood and I would cut them into pieces. And it's basically a way for me to practice my five different cuts with my tools. I had like 20 of them on a table, all standing up, and uh, ended up showing it on social. And then somebody had said, oh my gosh, the, are those Christmas ornaments? And next thing I know, I'm making Christmas ornaments. <laughs> oh, no. Merry Christmas, right? <laughs> Kevin and I, we got a note on social. Kevin, Tommy, you're my only hope. He wanted to know if I would teach him how to turn a ring. All right? And I, I really don't have time to teach somebody how to do a ring. So basically what I did is what I'll do is I'll just make them a ring and we'll send it to them. So Kevin worked on getting the size and then we made a little skit out of it where Kevin went in the woods and he got a big log like this to make a ring like this. And we just made it funny, dropped it down onto a table and it's like, I got it, Sonny. And we started turning it. And so I turned the ring and then I said to myself, hmm. I should make a little box for the ring to go in, so when he asks her to marry it, he can give her the box, take the cover off, and there's the ring. And so that's what we did. And um, it was fun. They appreciated it. I think everybody should have a hobby, because uh, when you retire, I know I've had friends that have retired, and they're going crazy. Uh, and unfortunately, it, it's sad because some people become lonely. There's nothing to do. They did. They never. They never tried anything. 
you know, it doesn't matter what it is, but you've got to stay busy. You've got to stay focused. You've got to keep your mind on things and you've got to challenge yourself. Challenging yourself is the, is the drive that keeps you going and you want to do it more. And that's the beauty of turning, I think. To see something that you built in a little bit of time. I can turn a silly little bowl in 40 minutes, half an hour, or I can spend 14, 20 hours on building a bowl. Any way you look at it, the gratification is still there. It's just, like I say, fun. Well, I, I guess I'm a wave guy, but I it, it's I like to turn. <laughs> Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. To make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.